Hi, Storytime friends. It is Miss Ollie, and I brought a special friend. Ben. This is Ben. He is in second grade, and he's going to help with Storytime today. Okay? All right. You ready? Okay. We're going to start with our opening song that we always sing. Ready? The more we get together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Great job, friends. Okay, let's sing If You're Happy and You Know It. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will sure to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! Great job, friends! Okay, I don't know if Ben knows this song. It's the ABCs. I bet he does. <laughs> okay, ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next. Mommy and Daddy are proud of me. I was waiting to see which ending you were going to do. Next time, won't you sing with me as one? But Miss Maisie at preschool learned Mommy and Daddy are proud of me, so that's why I do that one. Okay. Both are correct, however you want to do it. All right. Let's get our wiggles out. Ready? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle my nose. Now the wiggles are out of me and I'm just as still as I can be. Good job, friends. Okay, it's time for our deep breathing exercises. So let's do our regular old deep breathing. We'll do five nice deep breaths. Remember, I like to breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth and we hold it just for a little bit. See, just like that in the middle. I'll count it off on my fingers and then afterwards and we'll feel a little calmer, a little more focused and mm -hmm. ready to read, okay? All right, friends, if you want to close your eyes, you can or you can leave your eyes open, whatever you're most comfortable with. Here we go with breath number one. Ready, in, hold it and out. Good. Breath number two, in, Hold it and out. Good. Looks like I'm saying peace. Breath number three. Hold it and out. Good. Breath number four in. Hold it and out. Breath number five. Breath number five in. Hold it and out. Good. Do you feel better after some deep breaths? A little. Yep. Sometimes it helps, right? Okay, friends. 
Today, we are going to read about... Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Okay, I'm gonna read the first book. How's that sound? This is called, What If Dinosaurs Were Pink? Isn't that a special thought? By Jarrett Whitlow, illustrated by Daniela Dogliani. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sure it this way so you can see. What if dinosaurs were pink? It's a little harder for me to turn the pages this way. And by a little harder, I mean super difficult. <laughs> Maybe I should have you turn the pages for me. There we go. Got it? I don't want to turn my back on you. Okay. Did you ever stop to think, what if dinosaurs were pink? There are a whole lot of unknowns considering all we've found is bones. All we've ever heard is that they're green and several types were kind of mean. We know they were big and laid eggs to have babies. But if you really think about it, there are still a lot of maybes. Thank you. Maybe they got dressed up all the time to play with friends till eight or nine. I bet they wore huge fancy shoes while they busted out their funky dance moves. Maybe they love to sing songs so cheerful instead of just roaring and making others fearful. Perhaps their tails acted like propellers. And maybe T-Rexes were excellent spellers. Thank you, Helper. Maybe they lived in great big houses and were quite scared of little mouses. It could have been they all had professions like lawyers, doctors, or teachers of lessons. Maybe they went to school and did lots of homework but got out every summer an excellent perk. They may have worn braces to straighten their teeth or slept in beds unafraid of monsters beneath. Thank you. Maybe they had spots like a Dalmatian. You can picture it too if you use your imagination. Some scientists think they may have had feathers to keep them warm in various weathers. Maybe they drove cars and watched drive-in movies or wore underpants to cover their dino booties. <laughs> we'll never know if they laughed loud as ever or knew how to juggle, play football, whatever. There's no evidence any of these things exist but our great scientists continue to persist. Once buried, not much lasts through the years, although they may search their entire careers. The searching is difficult, the digging is tough, but we may find the answers if we dig deep enough. Look at what's buried here. There's a disco ball and a top hat, bow tie, Funny boxer short underwear, a football, and a looks like a pink Cadillac. That is crazy. Meanwhile, it's fun just to imagine what could have been during the dino's time in action. Perhaps one day we'll know and not just think how cool it was that dinosaurs were. Or yellow or blue maybe thank you for your help you're welcome this is a good one okay now mr ben is going to read how do dinosaurs stay safe would you like me to hold it for you oh i got it this is by jane yolen and mark teague you got it How does, a dinosaur, how does a dinosaur stay safe all day, whether at home or at school or at play? Does he climb up too high or jump on his bed? <laughs> 
Does he race on his bike with no helmet on his head? Does he... Dance. Is he rough with the cat? Does he stand up on chairs? <laughs> when Mama says no, does he run down the stairs? If anyone dares him, does he always try to jump off the rooftop as if he could fly? No, a dinosaur doesn't, and I'll tell you why. When crossing the street, he holds Mama's hand tight, and he's very ever so watchful to cross with the light. He's careful with forks, knives, and spoons, and when he eats, he never goes off with strangers he meets. When swimming, when swimming with friends, he is careful to be right at the spot where Papa can see. Mm -hmm. He wears a good helmet when riding his bike. He takes bottles of water when on a long hike. Always safe, never sorry. In playtime and fun, a darn sort of knows how to dial 911. He's careful, not fearful, so he's a big roar. Stay safe and play safe, little dinosaur. Very good. Thank you for reading that one, Ben. You're welcome. How do dinosaurs stay safe? All right, let's take a reading break and let's sing Peanut Butter and Jelly. Ready? Okay. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. First you take the peanuts and you smash them. You smash them. You smash them, smash them, smash them. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Then you take the grapes and you squish them. You squish them. You squish them, squish them, squish them. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the bread and you spread it. You spread it. You spread it, spread it, spread it. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the sandwich and you eat it. You eat it. You eat it, eat it, eat it. Very good, friends. You did it. I like your little fingers, jazz hands, pizzazz there at the end. That was good. Friends, we're going much faster than usual. I think with Ben here, I don't take as long to chit chat. We just get right to business, right? Let's sing another song since we have a little extra time. Let's sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Ready? Mm -hmm. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you remember the little dinosaur song? No. Well, we could try it. I know Miss Cindy used to do it in story time at the library. Okay. We start, what do we do, five dinosaurs? Or let's do three. Okay. I might mess this one up because I haven't practiced in a really long time. So, here we go. Three dinosaurs went out to play on a bright and sunny day. They had such enormous fun. All the dinosaurs were... <laughs> I think I remember it a little now. Yeah, I can't remember the exact words. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little chuckle at our expense. <laughs> Next time, we're going to practice before we do that. <laughs> that was kind of funny, wasn't it? Okay, let's read another story. This one's funny. 
This one is called Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it's by Sudipta Barhan Qualan, illustrated by Zachariah O'Hara. Ready? This one's kind of tricky. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Should I try and hold it in the middle? Oh, oh you're the best. Apatosaurus Colors. Pteranodon inspects, Velociraptor glitters, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh no. Stegosaurus stacks, Triceratops erects, Gallimimus builds it up, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh no. Styracosaurus copies, Stiggy Moloch checks, <laughs> Iguanodon picks out a book, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh no, what a mess. Tyrannosaurus, stop it. Tyrannosaurus, no. Tyrannosaurus, knock it off. Tyrannosaurus, go. Tyrannosaurus leaving. Dinosaurs are glad. Tyrannosaurus lonely, miserable, and sad. Tyrannosaurus fixes, erases, and corrects. Tyrannosaurus tidies, but Tyrannosaurus wrecks. Oh no. Tyrannosaurus crying, giant dino tears. Tyrannosaurus giving up when dinos say, come here. Tyrannosaurus colors, Tyrannodon directs. Tyrannosaurus builds and stacks. Triceratops protects. Tyrannosaurus careful, checks and double checks. Tyrannosaurus grateful. Then, Apatosaurus Rex. Oh, their snack went everywhere. But she's cleaning it up. That one was very sweet. All right, friends, well, that's a short story time for today, but that's all I have for you. All right, make sure you get plenty of sleep. Take care of yourself. Try not to pick your nose. Make sure you wash your hands. I'm just looking. <laughs> and we will see you next time, okay? Thank you for joining me today. It was fun doing a story time with you. Maisie always joins in. And Mally wants to join in sometimes, but I haven't ever had my Ben join me. So, thank you. All right, friends. That's all I have for today. I'll try to work on the dinosaur song so I can actually figure out the lyrics next time. <laughs> all right, bye, friends. See you next time. Bye.